Hello everyone, welcome to the topic carbon and electronic structure. So the first thing that we consider about electronic structure of a given element or atom would be its electronic configuration. And we have to see that what is the valence electron of the given atom. Now carbon is actually tetravalent which means that it has 4 valence electrons. 4 valence electron means it can form 4 bonds and carbon is a non-metal. So what sort of bonding does it take, uh, does it get involved in? Actually uh, carbon forms covalent bonds. Now what are covalent bonds? Covalent bonds are formed when nothing but when two or more atoms of similar electronegativity react with each other such that sharing of electrons take place. So what is the other commonly known uh, bonding that we know? We know that there is ionic bonding where actually transfer of electrons take place. In covalent bond sharing of electrons take place. Now there is a common way of actually representing compounds or now here essentially carbon compounds and that is done using Lewis dot structures. So to draw Lewis dot structures we have to follow a certain number of rules. Let us examine these rules and try to understand how to draw Lewis dot structure based on these rules. The first one is to find the total number of valence electrons involved in the given compound. So that depends on the number of different atoms and the we have to add the valence electrons of each of those atoms. The second point is used to the electron pairs to form bond between the different atoms. And the last point is to add the remaining, subtract these from this and add the remaining electrons to satisfy octet in all the elements involved, all the atoms involved. So this is a lot of rules to remember. So let's try to understand this by taking an example. So here we have an example CH3F. How many different atoms do we have? We have carbon, we have hydrogen and we have fluorine. Now if we add the valence electrons of each of these elements, we can see that carbon has 4, hydrogen has 1 but there are 3 hydrogen atoms and fluorine has 7. So on adding all this we get 14 as a total number of valence electrons. Now carbon has forms 4 bonds that means it consumes 8 electrons. So if you subtract 8 from 14, we have a remaining of 6 electrons left. Now if you draw its typical structure here, we can see that carbon is fulfilling its octet. Hydrogen does not have octet but it has a duplicity that is 2 valence electrons and hydrogen is also satisfying duplicity. Only element is fluorine. So we add the remaining 6 electrons to fluorine so that now fluorine is also having octet configuration. So I hope you are clear on what is covalent bond how to draw Lewis structure of a given compound and what are the rules to follow while drawing the Lewis dot structures.